Okay, well last night I was reading the manual and that said that as well as the uh, float chain bowl here for the carburetor, there's this little sediment bowl thing that they call it, uh, which I guess is there as the name suggests, to trap sediment. So I'm going to take that apart and have a look at it. And also I want to have a look at the spark plug, which is hidden away down in there. That was like full of sawdust and dirt, so I've brushed that out and then blown it with an air gun just to clean it out before I undo that. I'm going to take those out now and take a look at them. Okay, well not too bad. Uh, this little fella is just full of sand. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Probably not the end of the world. I guess it means it's been doing its job. Uh, it's also quite corroded inside. That's going to want a good clean and a wire brush out. Spark plug. Actually not too bad. It's a little bit bent, the terminal, over the top. Uh, but that can be sorted out. But the actual colour of it is quite good, not a bad grey colour. So again that suggests that with the compression that it ought to be possible to get this thing running. A couple of other little tiny things just while I was clearing, cleaning the engine. Uh, number and plate and everything is there but also found underneath here. can't really see it very well but there's the serial number on there. And that let me track it down to exactly uh, what engine it is and to date it to 1985 but that helped me get exactly the right manual for the job as well. The manual says that once a year you should check the valve clearances or tappets as I used to call them. So I'm taking off the uh, rocker box cover and so there's the tappets they look quite loose to me. Um, the manual says 0.15 millimetres inlet, 0.2 exhaust. That looks to be a heck of a lot more than that. Now to do that you need to set the timing on the thing, which means coming up to the flywheel. And I don't know if you can just see that little V on the pulley. That should line up with the viewing hole at the top uh, for top dead centre. So I've got the engine in the right place. So now what I've got to do is get the appropriate feeler gauge and adjust these so that means unlocking it and then get the feeler gauge in there Oh, that's miles too much, that's about 3 millimetres, not 0.1.2. So, set that in, adjust it until that's just a good feel. Yeah, that feels about right. And then nip it up with that, and I'll do the same with the other one. That might improve the performance of the thing quite a lot.